Hey guys, welcome to day six, 16 of the shadow work. Um, today we're going to talk about patience and breathe, float and smile. So uh, patience first. I don't know about you, but I have certainly in my past, <laughs> if not in my present, been a very impatient person. I like things to happen. I like to make things happen and I like to make them happen fast. And um, I know that early on when I was um, in my, sorry, that was my dog, in my um, sort of awakening to this path, I found myself wanting to move faster, feeling like I could move faster and wanting things to happen faster than they were happening and not allowing again, periods of rest or just being with whatever changes had come because it does take a while for changes to settle in. Right? So, um, I was reminded of patience today when, um, I was thinking about on our walk this morning, I was thinking about a deer that we had doe that we had seen with two um, yearlings um, a couple of weeks ago. And I was thinking about her and um, that we hadn't seen them in a little bit. And all of a sudden I saw this deer. And at first it was so still, it was so close to me, probably about five feet away, just off the side of the road in the shade. At first I thought it was a statue because there's lots of deer statues up here. And then I realized, oh, and then I saw the two, two yearlings a bit behind her and I thought oh no it's her and just when I caught sight of her and realized she was real um Ollie did too now luckily he didn't freak out or do anything um he just started getting very excited tail went up and he started looking at me like what are we gonna do what are we gonna do so I moved him away from her and there was a lady coming back down the hill that we were going up on a bike and I stopped her and said there's a doe wants to the road with two yearlings and so she stopped and I didn't hear any cars coming so I thought well this is a really good time for them to try to cross and I wanted to allow them that space to do that so and I wanted to be there I just wanted to be there in the moment and so we stopped and um, I was doing my best to keep Ollie calm so they didn't freak the doe or the yearlings out and she stood there and she stood there and she stood there some more and she waited. She did not take the very first opportunity that came to her to just bolt out into the road to cross it with her little ones. She waited. And then she waited some more. And then she waited some more. And she was so perfectly still that you again began to think maybe she's a statue, except for every now and then you get the little twitch of her little white tail. She'd be a little twitch of the tail would happen. Okay. She's still thinking about it. And of course, as soon as she made the move, the little ones came, came literally bounding, you know, like leaping feet off the ground behind her, which was so lovely to see. But it reminded me of patience and that in this process, there's a lot of patience that you need to have. And again, that's part of being kind to yourself, right? Is being patient with yourself, allowing these things to happen, allowing backslides to happen, and then coming back forward, um, accepting that we have these parts of ourselves that um, maybe don't serve us, but that we can learn from. We can learn from and that they serve us that way, but the, the way we react out of wounds doesn't maybe serve us anymore. Maybe it was a coping mechanism that helped us in the past, but doesn't help us now. The other thing, and this is, I think, part of being patient with yourself and being kind to yourself, again, sort of continuing on that theme, is something that, um, again, my first mentor in this iteration <laughs> um, of me uh, gave me, and he said he had gotten it from a client. I, I don't know who, because of course he couldn't tell me who, but it was something called breathe, float, and smile, which I love. And this is really about taking, taking a beat when you're feeling anxious or impatient or like things aren't going your way or like you're struggling in a moment that you take a breath that you imagine you float up to the ceiling and you look back down on yourself in whatever situation that you're in 
and you smile at yourself. And at the very least, you are compassionate. If you can't have a sense of humor about yourself and about your foibles, which would be great if you can, and it's really lovely when I can. I can't always do it. I hold my hand up. I admit it, but I do try. I try to remember that. I try to remember breathe, float, and smile because I do think it's really helpful. Um, I love breathe, float, and smile. So um, on this day after the full moon, um, which as Jules posted is an, an integration day and a rest day, let's continue to be kind with ourselves. Let's be patient with the work that we're doing and the things that we're learning, the new skills that we're learning, the new routines that we're trying to work in. Let's be patient. Um, for the results to come in. And then um, let's maybe try breathe, float, and smile for those moments when we find it difficult to be patient. Let's try to breathe. <sighs> float up above yourself and smile. If not, maybe have a giggle, right? Okay, have a beautiful day. I'm sorry that my video has been doing weird stuff today, but hey, it is what it is. Mwah! Big kisses. Love y'all. Have a good one. And again, comments, questions, always here, here for it. Thanks. Bye.